So basically, I'm gonna go ahead and jump straight into it. Uh, the Street Fighter 6 beta is officially over. I enjoyed it, gave it a 10 out of 10. I'm not gonna hate on it. Perfect 10 out of 10, love it, can't wait for the full game to drop. Now we shall take the time to watch some high level replays and see what other players was actually doing. So much love to the FGC place. Chris T versus Knuckle Do. So if I remember correctly, Chris T actually won can opener. Yeah, Gao is definitely a strong character in, in this game. I know he won Cano, but I didn't know he won both of them, Jesus. And actually, I, I truly believe that all Ken players are loving Street Fighter 6 right now. Ken is very strong so far. And you know what's crazy? I said that. I was like, when they was announcing his character background and then, they, and then we all seen that he had a different look, Everybody was like, yeah, Ken, Ken about to be washed up because his bio was like he's struggling to do DP and all that. And I'm like, bro, watch this background fuel him to want to fight. Ken is bringing A1 pressure with all kind of mix. So, yeah, I, I feel like Ken is definitely going to be a problem in this game. And that that's normally how Capcom do it with these uh, betas to season one of even initial release of a street fighter right show those are normally strong the game is normally insane in the beginning like you know like legit throw loops all kind of crazy pressure characters being good 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 but i, I guess we'll see what happens as the game continues to uh, re receive patches i think chris t won like four to five attorneys ken is about to be problematic bro I don't, I don't really want to talk about the whole crack beta situation, but that that might play a part. That's actually kind of crazy how Gal is the only zoner out of eight characters, bro. Gal probably got no losing matchups so far. He got out zoned the whole roster. Because of the way Ken be canceling his buttons, like, I really want to play him. I wish I would have knew that when the first beta dropped. I wouldn't have put so much time in the loop. Kim could probably do well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But definitely got to take risk. Oh. Woo. Oh, yeah. That's dead. Oh, he dropped the combo. Will Nukadu fully capitalize? Mm -hmm. Oh. I'm assuming that Tarakon was spaced correctly. I didn't really lab Gal, but I wonder if his booms are what his booms used to be in Street Fighter V. You know how before they changed it, his boom was always plus two? It didn't matter where he was at. I wonder if that's how it is in, in six. Or do you have to get the perfect boom in order to get that frame data? Maybe I should have looked into that. It, it just came to mind. Tell me you slept more than six hours? It felt like I did. I haven't been too long woke up. And I woke up not too long ago. See, I, I definitely got a full night. Oh, that was a good DP. Well, super. I feel like if Balrog make it into this game, they'll probably put his V-Skill 1 into his normal toolkit. Hopefully. That'll be a real good way to deal with fireballs, bro. <clears throat> oh, good shimmy. Chun like the only one who could get around him. I think Jamie got something too. It's like the little low breakdown, the little low break dance move that he got. Oh, Ken got some good corner carry too. Oh, no cross cut from Chris T. Good anti air. His toss will look like it's way better than that. Drive reversal, man. I feel like that is a good drive mechanic that was rarely getting used. Nobody was really using drive reversal. I think it costs three bars though. And if it's blocked, it's like negative nine. So I, I'm, I'm assuming there's good reasons behind not using it, but it could be a good universal mechanic to stop most pressure. But three bars though, mm, that, that's, that's kind of it's kind of costly saying that drive impact is only one. So anyone talking about the crack issue? I mean, I wasn't too concerned about it. People started talking more about it once tournaments started to happen. And they seen how big the prize pool was. 
But I think it may have been talked about before that, but I think it escalated more once them tournaments happened. Oh, that might be debt. That might be debt. Oh, you went for the reset? I wonder if he could have killed. Nice. There was a video of Pongo stream with the mod enabled. Yeah, so apparently Psycho, the Nakali player, he put it on Punk's and Smug's computer, but this was around the time CPT was happening, so nobody was playing it. I'm, I'm guessing that's what they rolling with. They had access to it, but Punk wasn't playing it. Mad disrespect, no size, I just love the content. I mean, it low-key kind of is a disadvantage, but hey, some people go to lengths to play it, some people don't, so it was an open mod for everybody to download it, but you know, everybody wasn't concerned about it, so you can't really fault the people who did get it. Oh, that was a nice neutral jump. Yeah, I heard it was going to be over Monday. But I didn't know it was going to be, you know, Sunday night, Monday morning. I thought we was going to have some time to actually play it Monday. But as soon as I woke up, bait over with it. I'm like, bruh, that kind of made me wish I didn't go to sleep. All right, so watching Chris T play this matchup, preemptive, preemptive jabs seems to be pretty ideal against Kimberly. To actually stuff the potential uh, smoke dash. Okay, that that that's actually smart. That's actually real smart. Throwing, throwing them jabs to stuff the potential startup. What character has the most pressure? These two that's on the screen right now. And Gal. Ken, Gal, and Kimberly. Yeah, Chris Chris T been labbing this matchup. It is either he been labbing this matchup or he just played a lot of cams, but he seems to have a general feel for how to play this matchup. The the jabs, the neutral jumps on the EX run. The the jabs, perfect. Nice. Oh, the follow-ups. Uh oh. Uh oh, it's time to party. What up, Doc Hadu? Dashing isn't a thing anymore. Regular dash is so slow, it kind of makes no sense to do it. If, if you're going to dash, just commit to the dry rush. The dash in this game is actually slow. I keep trying to perfect Perry Kim's forward heavy kick. Jury has a good dash, though. Yeah, yeah. I think Jury is the only exception because she actually glides across the map, bro. Like, she's gliding. Like, everybody else's dash, you can see them actually stepping forward and committing to a dash. Like, she just glides, bro. Said mental mental stack feels a lot tougher in this game. Yeah, and you know what? That's the thing, right? So, think about it like this, right? Drive impact is aggravating, right? But, I feel like it's aggravating because the mental stack, right? The mental stack is so big in this game, it's actually insane, bro. So I'm going to probably say this forever and a day, because I was talking about this earlier. But fighting Kimberly, Ken, and Gal with their kits and what they do, and then having to worry about drive impact, like, that is actually a lot. And then when you look at the actual details about the move, it costs one bar. It actually costs one bar to do it. Yo, Jiggy coming in with the 23 months. You, you made my day, broski. Oh yeah, bro, you know I got you, dog. So that's that's the reason why Drive Impact was getting to me, because at times when I'm fighting Kimberly and Ken, like so much be going on, a lot of things to look for, and then. In the back of your mind, you just like, all this is happening. Drive impact has to happen sooner or later, you know? Like, that's the crazy part. So, oh, overall, I enjoyed the game. I put a lot of time into it. I really had fun. But drive impact is really something.
and you have full meter round start and monkey mode begins at 99 seconds exactly at least in street fighter 5 you have to actually build your meter and street fighter 6 you get to just start with it full fledged but i guess it kind of makes sense though right you don't want to start in burnout 